bro, and you're doing your edgy shock jock stuff, you know, in, in Minnesota. And that's how you landed April. You landed April because she's just, you know, another fucking clout whore who was like, ooh, radio guy. As soon as you lost that radio job, she checked out mentally. Because um, it's all you were. And you lost that. And now what you are learning is that with YouTube. And oh, by the way, I love how you're using all these Reddit talking points about me. That is hilarious because you have a Reddit of your own that you've talked about where you're like, these are all lies and spin. Um, to quote Maury Levy from The Wire, you wanted to be in the game. Now you're in the game. But in this game, this very dangerous game of YouTube, it all gets out there. You know what I mean? Your financial records, your divorces, your kid's name, your fucking, your husband's job, your wife's job, the fucking, what school the kids get, they will find you eventually. And my advice to you, Aaron, is the more you handle things this way, the worse it's going to get for you. And that's not a threat. That's not coming from me. That isn't me threatening you because my audience doesn't do this shit. And anybody knows that a lot of the bad actors in my audience are, you know, former bad actors in my audience were, are all on the Reddit board. They're people that were in our community at one point, loved me to death, did something, took it too far, and we publicly shamed them out of the community. And it hurts, and they hate me forever for it. Aaron, if you don't clean house, and you don't start watching your fucking ass, it's going to get very bad for you. And that's, again, not a threat. Not, my people don't do this shit. But the more you put your shit out there, the more the Clippers are watching, the more they're going to cut up fucking super cuts, the more they're going to find every little thing about you. They're going to fuck with you and your wife and your kids. All that shit you wrote to me about over a year ago. I don't know, man. They're going after April, my ex-wife. I don't know what to do. And I was like, this is YouTube, man. You want to be internet famous, nigga. You want to be in the game. This is the game. This is the game. I don't know what to tell you, but you either need to have a certain level of, I don't care about any of this, none of this matters, just say Smith. I mean, you're in or you're out. And you can keep getting butt hurt over shit I've said about you. I gotta go back ahead. How long is this fucking thing? You watched me for a while, huh? The, the bean. So, oh, is this him so, sleeping for Kumia? Like, okay. oh, I gotta learn somehow. Okay, you have to learn. And by the way, what's the lesson Mersh is trying to teach her? That Mersh is right. So right. You got Yeah, that is the lesson. I'm almost always correct. And if you listen to me, you'll do pretty well. Got to learn that Unless I... Unless you took my Mariners bet, which I don't know what's going on with that. How are we doing? Oh, my God. Four to eight Mariners. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. slam is that what that was i'm not watching the game anymore it's eight to four though did they get a fucking grand slam i'm 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 that's nuts if they i god now nah, i wish i was watching the game instead of stupid aaron aaron is boring i would have liked to have seen the mariners just knock four runs in Woo Yo, I just went to check and I'm like, yo, there's no way I'm going to. And I, I looked and I'm like, eight, four. <laughs> Why? Because on the bookie website, it doesn't. It's not the high score, low score. It's like just whatever the team placement is. So it was Sox and Mariners at yeah, eight, four. I'm like, yo, come back from that, Chicago. You dumb Negroes. <laughs> it was a walk off Grand Slam. Oh, I wish I, I'll see it on Twitter, right? Twitter will have that one. I got to see that play then because that looked not, like I was like, there's no way that number's too perfect, right? Um, let me see. Here it is. Cal Raleigh, the guy that fucking the guy that literally almost got ejected. By the way, that's the guy that almost got ejected from the game. 
can you imagine? Cal Raleigh was the guy that was arguing with the umpire when we stopped watching and we went back to Aaron. And Cal Raleigh was the guy that they were like, he might get himself ejected. And you could see them arguing to the point where you literally the guy that almost got kicked out of the game didn't get kicked out of the game. Walk off Grand Slam. I got to see this. Here's the pitch to Cal. There it is right there. That was a fucking dude. That was a goddamn cannon. I gotta see that hit again. That was a really good hit. Look at that. Here's the pitch to Cal. Yeah. Bow! 